Hey everybody, this is part four of setting up the Active Directory certificate services for your domain. Now, in the first one, we set up this root CA, which is now offline, because that's your offline root CA. In the second one, we set up this server as the subordinate, and this is the issuing this will issue certificates, and that's this one right here, which, which we have open. And in the third video, what we did was we set up a, a group policy in here. I believe, let's take a look, let's see if we can go there. Group policy, a certificate trust policy to push out the, the root CA. Now, by default, the subordinate CA is a enterprise AD joined uh, CA, so it will automatically be in Active Directory and pushed out to all Active Directory computers. So what I did was I spun up another a Windows 10 server, and let's just look at this group policy. And there it is, Chris Eve root authority is being pushed out as a trusted root certificate authority. So let's let's see if that worked. And that's the computer config. So we should be able to go on here. And I don't know if this has received, this I just brought up, so I don't know if it received it yet, but we can go to computer, manage computer certificates. Let's do that. Say yes to that. And we'll see what's here. Okay, so personal, nothing's there right now. You can see that. Trust it, root. And if we go to certificates here, let's see if we see any that we created. So I don't see them right now. So it looks like we have not yet hasn't yet updated so we can do a gp update just run a gp update and see if we can get those in there this should be under trusted root cer certification authorities and that's this one so that's that is right uh, let's check pretty sure i don't see anything here Well, there's the root one. Okay, there it is. There's the root. And I think if we go to intermediates, we should see this here. There it is. Chris Eve issuing CA. All right, so that was already there. That did not need to get updated. But the trusted root had to be updated by the group policy. Okay, so now, now after we've done all of that, now what we want to do is go configure some certificate templates. So let's go down, let's go back to the CA. This is our issuing CA. We're gonna go in here and these are all the templates that are already here. We don't want any of those. We don't need any of those. I'm gonna delete them. And we'll just create some from scratch. So, cause we don't need those. Those are unnecessary. All right, so let's create our own. So what we wanna do is we need to go to the uh, certificate templates, right? So let's do that now. I think if I click manage here on certificate templates, this brings up another console, the certificate templates console. And you can see here are all the, the, con the all the, templates that are in Active Directory. So this is actually in AD. These are all stored in AD. You won't see these on a standalone. And what we'll do is we're gonna take uh, workstation, authentic workstation authentication. So we're gonna do that one. And so we'll click that, duplicate, duplicate template. 
And let's see, what do we want to change in here? So probably the name. We don't like that. Yeah, that's not great. Uh, so let's do this. All of ours will be Chris Eve. And then template name, workstation authentication. Let's put a dash in there. Okay. Uh, I'm good with one year. Renewal period, six weeks. Looks good. Let's go to the security tab. And for the security tab, what we're going to do is for domain computers, we're going to auto enroll, allow auto enroll. This will allow us to automatically get a certificate for a computer in the domain. Okay. So now that should be, that's in our list. There it is. Chris Eve workstation authentication. And you can see the version has changed schema version. Same. Okay, good. So now what we'll do is we'll take the web server template. Let's duplicate that one also. And general. And again, we'll just call these. So we'll call all of ours, our domain. Followed by the act, the name of the web server. So validity for our web server will be one year. Okay. And we're going to do one more. So let's do code signing. Chris Eve, code signing, and then we'll change this. Just put a dash in there. And that's good. Good with that. Okay, so we've created those three. Now what we want to do is we'll close this and So let's see, where do we do this? So we want to, yeah, so okay. That's where we want to go. We want to new certificate to issue, and then we're going to pick these three. And there we go. So now they're listed in our certificate templates. So what we'll also do is take, say the web server, we're gonna allow, let's see if, do we have a server that we can use So let's go to manage. And they should all be up here. So go back in here. Go to security. And we will pick an object. So we want object types, we want computers. And let's pick CA sub and we'll allow that to enroll in the
in the web server, the web server uh, template. Okay, so that's going to have permission right there to enroll. Perfect. And we can also take a another user for the code signing. Let's see what users we have. So in our users, we have we have some test users. We can use a test user. So security. And you'd probably do this by group if you were going to really do this. Create a group in Active Directory and then add that user to the group and then give the permission on, on that. But here we're just going to do this. We're just going to set up the user and give them enroll permission. Okay, so that is our, that is how we're going to set up the templates. So in the next video, we'll start using those templates and I'll, I'll show you how to do that. So thank you for watching and I hope it's been helpful.